Our next source of food that we want to look at is our peacocks. So our peacocks lay eggs and they can also provide us with baby peacocks. We need to give them somewhere where they can nest. And to do that, we're going to need to build nest boxes. Nest boxes are made in a crafts dwarfs workshop. So let's build one of those. So that's B, W for workshops. And then crafts dwarfs workshop is R. We'll tuck that in there and we'll make it out of logs. It's only a temporary workshop. We're going to need to tell somebody that they can do that job. Maybe Tammy. Tammy is at the moment a miner and hauler. We'll get you doing stone crafting. Okay, Tammy's built the Crafts Dwarfs workshop. And so now we want to make, um, want to make them out of rock. And rock, using the plus key to navigate, we'll say rock next nest boxes. And I want to add six of those because we've got six female. There we go. We're going to want to build some rooms for the peacocks. So let's mark those out for digging. They'll need a door to get in and a... I want two rooms. One for the peacocks who are going to lay eggs that will collect for eating and one that for the peacocks that will lay eggs for breeding. And let's give them a reasonable size room. Say that big for one. Little three by three rooms will be fine. And then we just have doors on the front there. I'm going to allow the miners to come and dig this area here. I'm not sure if I actually want the staircases on this level. So I'm not going to dig them just for the moment because it's easy enough to decide later to put them in. All right, so what's everybody doing now? We've got two miners who are digging. Uh, Potatina and Spotted Cow are having a sleep. Uh, Bernie is moving wood. Jim is making some wood wooden barrels. And Tammy is making nest boxes. We can start putting in the nest boxes. So we build the nest box. So that's B capital N. And let's put them near the door, I guess. Seems sensible. Capital N. We've got two made so far, so we can put them in. With peacocks, we can expect between six and eight eggs per bird. Now, if we were farming turkeys, we could expect 10 to 14 eggs. So almost double the number of eggs. And with turkeys, we get more meat you get nine meat off a turkey you get six to nine meat off a peacock and with bones you get six bones from a turkey and four to six bones from a peacock so turkeys you would think would be the better option but peacocks are mature and ready for butchering uh, within a year whereas turkeys take two years so peacocks you don't get quite so much but you get it twice as often so peacocks actually work out to be slightly better than turkeys let's see if we've got the other nest box ready yet yes we have there we go so now we can move down the peacocks and we do that with i to set a zone and we'll have the zone from here to here it's going to be a pen pasture so that's n capital N and we'll bring down the first three peahens you you and you and the first peacock you we are going to need a door so we'll say build a door we haven't got any doors but we'll put planning mode on 
and we'll put the door there. Now, in fact, I would quite like to have doors all around here. And this is either Bernie or Potatina. It's Potatina has brought down a peahen who was ready immediately to lay some eggs. There's eight eggs in that nest box. And we need to put a door here. Now to make doors, we want to make the doors out of stone. So let's build another workshop and this workshop will be a mason's workshop, which is M. We'll drop that in there and we'll make it out of logs. Down here, let's put in the remaining nest boxes. So we want one there. I oh, was still short one, but we'll get another one there. I don't want to bring down the, I don't want to set up the zone for the rest of the peacocks until this is completely dug out, which it is now. We're going to designate the zone down here. So it's I for zones. And we'll go from here to there. N for pen pasture, capital N to choose. And let's just scroll down using plus and minus. Uh, you might notice that some weird things are going on on the right hand side there. That's only because text will be text isn't active at the moment. So uh, we want to take the bottom three P hens. That's one, two, three and the bottom peacock. And if we go back upstairs, let's escape out of that. So those four peacocks up until now were confined to a zone around here. The female peacocks might make a beeline for a nest box if they can find one that's installed somewhere. And as soon as you tell an animal that it's no longer confined to the zone that it's currently in, it will run free and it'll go wherever it fancies. Even if the new zone that you're moving it to overlaps with where it's currently standing, as far as it's concerned, until somebody takes it and puts it in a pasture, it's not pastured. If an animal doesn't know where to go and it's not in a zone, then it'll head to a meeting point, which in our case is the wagon outside. However, sometimes poultry might make a beeline for a nest box. And to make doors for the peacocks, we're going to need a mason. So let's get Dwarf Therapist up and read. Right, who shall we have as a mason? We'll maybe get Potatina also working as a mason. Okay, Spotted Cow has run out of Plump Helmet spawn. So let's tell Spotted Cow to get back to plant gathering. We have the last nest box to drop in here. So we'll drop that in there. Now we won't be able to start breeding our, our new pea chicks until we can stop the dwarfs from going in and collecting the eggs. So as you see there, that was Adam who's just gone and collected the eggs. So we need those doors put in to, to prevent the dwarfs from collecting the eggs. So Potatina uh, is also our woodcutter though, and I really need wood cutting. So maybe we say no. Um, yeah, Jim, stop doing carpentry for a while. Go and do masonry. Let's go and get those doors made. So let's add some rock doors, which is D. I'll put it on repeat. We'll set workshop constraints to Alt W and then Alt A. Doors of any rock. And um, five to 10 doors actually is about right. So we'll leave that range as it is. And we've reached the end of spring. As we head into summer, now, as a matter of urgency, I actually want that door there put in first. So what I'm going to do is cancel these doors with just by clicking on them and pressing X. 
I'll do a full episode on doors and hatches and things later on in this series. And then that way the first door to get built will go in here. Okay, so I think Jim has made our first door. Yes, there's a church door there. Someone will come and collect that and go and install it downstairs. All right, so we've got the door in. So what we want to do now is to keep the peacocks inside with O and also forbid passage because we don't want people going in and collecting the eggs. We want the eggs to hatch into more peacocks. More peacocks mean meat and leather and bones and, well, more peacocks. Oh, we have some pea chicks. Oh, we, we're going to need to deal with that pretty soon. Let's just go up to our food. Yes, we have lots and lots of pea chicks. Right, we're going to have to move them out of there and put them into a room where they can grow up. Now here I've dug out a room for the peacocks. Um, we're going to move all of the peacock chicks in there so that they're growing up in an area separate to where their parents are. So let's make a zone. From here to here, it's a pen pasture and who's not pastured? All of you pea chicks. Now, if you do have FPS issues and you want to farm a lot of poultry, you're going to need to let the poultry sit for at least a year before you can butcher them. And a way to do that without impacting on your FPS is to put the animal inside a cage while it grows up. I'm just moving the peacocks through into a separate room where they can grow up by themselves. But you could fill that room with cages and put all of the peacocks in a cage. The reason why that helps is because the pea chicks can't move. They're, they're not trying to path anywhere. Now we'll need to allow the pea chicks out and allow people in to come and get them. So pea chicks now will spread all over the fortress. Well, let's see, we've got three breeding peacocks. So if we're getting uh, seven pea chicks per year, then that's 21 pea chicks that are running around uh, pathing. And it's quite possible that I'll have two or three batches of those. So I could have like, up to 50 peafowl running around pathing in their little room while they grow up. So for FPS, either keeping them in cages or keeping the numbers down really helps. That was loud and the volume implies that a lot A lot of animals have all grown up at the same time. So that's all on peacocks and domestic poultry farming for now. We'll look at butchering peacocks and we'll look at taming other egg laying animals in some future episodes. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you've got anything to add to the conversation, please do so in the comments. I really am trying to collect as much useful information in the comments as possible. So much appreciated. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.